Hey there guys and welcome to Software Inc. Uh, this is a fun little management game and uh, I've actually played it previously on this channel about two maybe three years ago and I had a ton of fun but there's been a lot of updates since then and I want to give it another go because it, it is really fun. If you're looking for kind of a, a fun, uh, you know, simple but yet complicated uh, management game. This is this is a very good one. So this is software oriented, hence the name. And uh, you essentially start up as a startup, one person company, and uh, you can develop all kinds of software, games, antiviruses, all that. It's all like computer related and such, uh, and some console stuff. And uh, you develop these, and then you know you you start selling them and see how much you can make and then once you start making more you can like hire staff and then start you know build an office and compete with other companies it's uh it's really really cool so uh what we're gonna do here first is uh we're gonna go ahead and load in uh we're gonna there's nothing to load we haven't start ha we don't have a save game so we're gonna go ahead and start a new game Okay, now this is character creation. The graphics are, you're either gonna like them or you don't. <laughs> uh, so, uh, welcome, I, uh, welcome to the customization screen. Press continue to advance the tutorial or cancel to exit. So we'll continue. I do mostly remember how to play, not entirely. This tutorial is kind of for you guys too. Begin by picking a company name. So we'll just call this XT Productions. And uh, that'll, be, that'll be good. So we'll continue. Then pick a name for your founder in the game. Um, so we'll just call this Xterm. There we go. Continue. And a gender, male, correct. Um, you can use this button to choose an aspect of the founder's appearance that you want to change. You can change the shape of the face, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so looks a little bit, a little bit funny. Um, <laughs> let's see, let's do a little bit. We're not gonna edit him too much. Uh, just because, you know, we won't be, like, looking at this, like, all that much. Um. Nose depth. Thickness. Give him some eyebrows, right? Um, so that's head. And then hair. <laughs> Give him an afro, that's possible, I suppose. Uh, colors. So skin, facial hair, we'll go hair, we'll give it a bit of a uh, bit of a red orangish color. Kind of a darker brownish, if I can find it, that's close enough. Um, interesting, oh, eyebrows are a separate one. Oh wait, no, that's still hair. That's, okay. There we go, so this one will kind of go like... Um... Oh, I have to hit apply too. Yeah, we'll just hit that and then lay hair. We'll go back to kind of to what we had here. And we'll hit apply. Uh, kind of some mismatched colors here. Um, that's all fine. Facial hair, his like mustache or whatever is a little bit off. Uh, do that. His face is just looks really strange for some reason. I guess, oh, I guess we could just pick facial hair style. Uh, let's actually just, let's just kind of do that, like one day not shaving or so. Uh, he can wear a hoodie, that's totally good. Uh, torso, uh, let, let's do shorts. And, uh, you know, casual here. So that's good enough. Like we said, we're not really focused on what the character looks like. You can now choose two traits, uh, which will affect your founder's behavior listed below in inter-office relationships. So, uh, somewhere we do this. Generous, okay, so it, like right here, I'm guessing. So you can be generous and optimistic. Uh, we could change this. Um, flirt, knave, stubborn, introvert, goofy, dramatic, cocky. Um, okay, well, well, let's make him an introvert. Uh, hard worker. And let's see, so this doesn't actually tell me. Uh, optimistic, I think is fine. Um, so fast learner, uh, independent, social, kind of in the middle, and uh, lazy, stressed. I mean, this seems 
like a decent thing. So we'll continue. Uh, here you can pick the founder's skill points and specializations which will affect the performance of your founder. Specializations are limited by skill, so if your founder has low design skill, he or she will also be low skilled in the design specialization you pick. You can further educate and train your founder to get skill and specialize in the game. So yeah, you can like send your your founder or your employees to like school and such to study and get better. Um, specializations are limited by skill. Okay, so lead increases the ability to bring together a team, boost your efficiency and handle management skills. Um, you can be a good programmer because uh, there's like these different sections when you go to design a software. So like programming, designing, art, um, and marketing and such. Uh, increase the effectiveness and speed of marketing. So we could bring that down a little bit. And you can see here, um, si design, system, code, system, art, 2D. Um, so you can kind of like change these. Uh, but we'll start here. So lead, uh, we'll make him a, and you can see like as I'm changing some of these other things go down a little bit. Um, that's fine for now. He doesn't need to be that good of an artist, honestly for kind of what I have in mind. So design um, system, okay, well let's hit continue. Uh, okay, so we can do system, 2D, network, audio, or algorithm. Algorithm's a new one, I believe, since last time I played. Um, and then same with the code, and then arch, uh, 2D, or audio. So we'll leave it with 2D. Code will do um, system, sure, and then design. Uh, network audio. I guess we could start with that. We could do like algorithm. Um, no, we'll, we'll go ahead. So let's begin choosing the rules of the game. Okay, so over here, uh, you can enable any mods. So there is mod support for this, which is pretty awesome. Uh, you can share your game with others without having the... Uh, okay, so up here. So now picks a, a scenario. The scenario will control the starting money and starting date you can choose between and goals whether to simulate competition or use a scripted competition or both. Okay, so um, you can change the environment and stuff. So free play, uh, competition 15. Um, free play 5,000. Starting your... Okay, well we don't want to do that. So let's do free play. Starting money, it will start with $5,000. I want this to be kind of tough, because last time I played, it was tough initially, but then you just kind of like took off and it was pretty easy. We'll start uh, in 1980, that's the earliest you can start. And uh, I mean, back then $5,000 was quite a lot. Simulation enabled, yes, goals, nothing. Um, Environment, well, what, what are the goals for, the, for this? Still nothing. Okay, so we can change environment to like city, desert, tundra, forest, we'll go city. Uh, difficulty, we're gonna go hard. Uh, days per month, so this is, yeah, so this is just how many days per month. So if one day takes over, that's essentially a month. Um, I forget, I, when I played before, I forget like how slow or fast things went. Um, if you do it like too long, like eight days or something, you know, then when if you do it software, because a lot of the software can take like a couple of years to develop, so this is gonna take forever. Like, you know, you're gonna be sitting here for a long time waiting for this stuff to be done. I think like two days, two or three days was a kind of a nice medium here for a month to go by. Um, we'll start with two. I mean, if it doesn't seem right, we can always just re-roll essentially. Uh, the forest is a default environment, tundra is cold all year, desert is hot all year, city has skyscrapers and a pre-built road network with parking lots. So we'll do that. Um, we'll continue. Uh, difficulty can be changed at any point during the game. Difficulty controls how easy it is to break into the market. So we do want hard. Uh, and then normally one day equals one month of software ink. This keeps the game at a steady pace so it doesn't get boring. If you feel the game is going too fast, you want a couple, want a couple of buffer days to learn earn money between having to pay salaries and bills, you increase the amount of days there is in a month. So I just went to to kind of do a bit more. Note that not note that everything in the game will move relatively slower to match the setting you picked. Okay. Click start game button to begin playing. Um, all right, so we'll do that. And uh, we'll go ahead and start game. Now there is an alpha branch, which maybe I should have started with uh, or done because I think you're able to like start in an apartment or something. Uh, with that, I should have opted into that. We'll see how this goes. If we just fail, we can go. We can opt into the beta and do that. Um, would we like to begin the welcome tutorial? We'll, not, we'll do not now. I somewhat remember how to play. So 
it's currently uh, 10 a.m. and just WASD to move the camera around. You can mouse wheel zoom in and out. Um, I'm not. Okay, so E brings you up and Q brings you down. I'm not actually sure how to rotate. Um, okay, you hold down middle mouse button. Okay, so there's all this stuff over here. Like, so what's going on? First, we want to pause. Okay, and uh, this is our company, our market recognition. We're, we're not doing great. We only have one star. So there's all this stuff. I need to reorient myself. So you can build like your buildings, right? Uh, let's just, how about, let's do that. So development, um, HR, finance, and market here. Um, data overlay. And then build mode. So there's two different modes. So there's the build mode. Uh, and then there's obviously the other mode. So we need to build something first, right? We need to do something. And this does take money. So we do want to be cautious here with... Um, the funds we have available, you can keep placing objects in rooms and build mode. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's just build. We'll just, we'll keep this like really small. Okay, so this creates like a square. So I just clicked once on the corner here and this is going to take pretty much all our money. So we get to, uh, <laughs> we get to live in a box. <laughs> this is, uh, this is what we get right here. We get, we get a box. Um, <laughs> And uh, we sh maybe should start with a, a little bit more money, but we'll see. 20 bucks for a door, I mean, that seems decent. So, you know, that was complaining we didn't have a door. He doesn't need windows for right now. There's no no sunlight allowed here. Um, and then we will, of course, need some stuff. So like furnishings, you know, we need a little table and a chair to sit at. Is, are any of these cheaper? Damn, dude. We ain't, we're not gonna have any money. <laughs> uh, we'll start with this. And the cool other cool thing here is all this stuff has an effect. So you can see down there environment is, you know, this benefits the environment, this benefits comfort. Uh, this is obviously more comfortable, which means it's going to like make them work better and such. So you do need to keep all this in mind, same with like the computers and, and stuff. So we'll just place that guy there. Uh, and then we obviously do need uh, a computer to work at. So we get this awesome old computer, which is at $500. Dude, that seems expensive. Um, so we want to rotate this. Uh, how, how do we rotate? Uh, click and drag to rotate your furniture. Okay, so there we go. Boom. And this guy's saying temperature will vary a lot in this room at temperature regulars. Remember windows leak. There's not like, not, okay, so we need to either add a window or a lamp. Um, we could like throw a lamp here maybe. Let's do that, and then we will need some sort of like ventilation. Uh, for a hundred bucks, we'll just throw a little ventilation fan there. Temperature will vary at temperature regulators. Yeah, great, thank you. <laughs> uh, and then like there's all kind of stuff, guys. Like there's these servers and, and all this stuff. It's pretty crazy. Product printer, which this looks new, I think, compared to last time I played. Um, so there's just so much stuff. Pallets. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and exit build mode and uh, click here when you are ready for your first day. Okay, so, and you, there's also a button to skip unused time, which is kind of nice. So our dude should be able to um, go in here and work at this point, maybe. Uh, so it's 10 a.m. Uh, if we look, there should be a shifts, like a thing for um, room labels, HR maybe, manage employees. Um, so there's exterm. So here's me. So here's all my like skills and such. Um, I'm looking. That's not quite what I wanted. Um, manage teams. Manage staff, perhaps. Arrival. Eight. Um, hmm. I know there's somewhere. I forget there's somewhere where you can like see the hours that people work. I'm not sure why I'm not coming here, but so we need to start a project. So we can we need to start by developing something, or we could do contract work, which is may what we need maybe what we need to do beforehand, because contract work. Um, there's all this stuff here, and it's a lot of information, guys. So over here on the on the left, we have the our available contracts, and this is um, so these are contracts we can do for other people. So we're like a consultant, right? Um, and there's all this type of stuff. So, you know, we can get 13 grand from this, nine grand, and it just takes a month. You can see here the time. Um, and uh, so then here's the stuff like 
all this information up that we might need, expect equality bad. So this is what we want to pay attention to. Uh, if we actually, uh, somewhere in here, I thought I could sort, they may have changed this. I think they may have changed this because you used to be able to sort by quality. Uh, but if you, you want to make sure like for these first ones, expect equality, you don't want expect equality to be good because you're not, you're not a good programmer yet and you don't have staff. So these that are like expect equality horrible, this is perfect because they don't expect us to do a very good job. Uh, and that's actually the one that pays the most interestingly enough. So if we go ahead and accept this, so this says recommended designers, one recommended programmers, one, um, I think we should be able to complete this. So we'll go ahead and accept that. And uh, here we go. So we got 1,200 for accepting this. And then over here, this kind of shows our progress. Okay, so things are color coded. The uh, like design is blue and then like development is green. I think coding may be red. I'm not sh entirely sure. Um, and you can have like different teams, um, right? You can assign teams. Uh, right now it's on core, which is just me. Uh, although I think I need to assign myself to this somehow. Um, core, I don't know why I'm not on that. We'll have to figure that out. Uh, so let's see, what does this guy do? Fill based on selected teams, port, project management, research. So there's like research you can do too. Um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and let's see, manage employees. Um, Exterm team core okay i'm not sure why it wasn't it's not showing me on there so we've accepted this contract let's go ahead and play and uh and see what happens i mean i know my guy should come to work theoretically um day one of two hmm he's just like taking the day off man so there's like research we can do there's no research currently available um, I think maybe he starts, click here when you are ready to start your first day. Oh, okay. Day two of two. We're not looking good. So he should come in at like 8 AM. Yeah. So here we are. Here we are. Here's my dude. He's going to sit down and chill and he's going to start coding. And this is actually moving at a somewhat decent pace. You can see the progress here. So he is just like typing away. You can see his uh, satisfaction and effectiveness. So, you know, if you have to work for like a really long time, the uh, effectiveness is going to go down and such. Uh, but we should be able to complete this. There's two days left. And based on this, if there's two days per month, then that means there's going to be 24 days in a year. Uh, I mean, this seems like a somewhat decent speed um, to go. So once we complete this, I mean, we'll get, have a lot more money to work with because it, it takes money and such to kind of, um, okay, so we've now done this. Um, we now want to develop it. And if you let it like, I remember if you let it sit in this stage too long, that can actually be a bad thing. So we do want to go ahead and move on to development. Um, so we're going to go ahead and develop. Um, would you like to begin the alpha work tutorial? Actually, yeah, let's, let's make sure I remember this it has three stages alpha in which developers and artists create the product according to the design specification requirement delay depending on how competent your employees are unexpected issues may crop up during the alpha which need to be addressed and beta in which bugs are uncovered by your programmers so depending on whether your software has any code or art you will see code and art units increase uh, these tell you roughly how much work is getting done the higher the numbers are the closer the product is being complete these numbers tell nothing of the actual quality of the code and art though to get an idea of how good your employee work is you need to do a peer review. Okay, so uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and do this. And you can see the code is 0.1 out of 0.7. Um, of course, now he's quit, so he leaves at 4, 8 till 4. It's a little bit of a short day, but not too bad. Uh, so we could just skip into the, until the next day, right? Uh, because you could have just fast forwarded, but you'd have to go all the way through the night and such. So we're just going to, we can just skip to the next day like that. And uh, he should hopefully get this done. There's only one day left, which is not good. I mean, it's 10 a.m. He should, 
finish the alpha stage at least. Maybe. I mean, he's still in decent shape. The computer, um, also, like, these kind of start to degrade and stuff, so you'll have to have them repaired every once in a while. Uh, noise level also matters, 15 dB, so if it's, like, too loud, you know, your guys get unhappy. Uh, alpha. Hold on. Promote. So the alpha, the code's already passed what it should be. I think I could just, like, be done. Not entirely sure. Because we've already passed the amount, right? Some things have changed since I played, so uh, bear with me here. That's interesting. I... Hmm. So it's due today, but like... It's already past that point. I think we could just promote it at this stage. I'm not really sure how much higher this needs to go. Or maybe he's just going to work on it until the day the time's up. I mean, that's entirely possible. I guess we could let this get to like one and then see what happens. Uh, so he's still doing good. He's happy. Uh, yeah, we'll just, well, I think we'll just maybe let this, okay, it's kind of slowing down. So if we just like promote this, uh, are you sure you want to promote out of the alpha stage? You can no longer improve the quality of the product once you leave alpha. Uh, yes, because we're, we're like already past what needs to be done. So there's a delay. Beta, fix zero bugs. Fix two bugs, three bugs. We want to make sure we get it done though before he leaves. Um, review, peer reviews are only available during alpha. Okay, so I guess we could see if we can get like one more bug fix in there. Ten bugs. Uh, I guess we could just release it and just see what happens. Or maybe, I mean, it... It may just auto-release, like, when the time's up, so... One day overdue. Okay, so let's release it. Okay, so we didn't get our full thing. Contract late. Okay, so it was late with outstanding quality. So we could have released it, like, more on time and been good. Uh, but there you go. So... Actually, I do want to cancel that. Okay, so we've done the contract, and... Uh, and we can continue doing contracts. Uh, so if we if we do yes, let's just see what this says. Um, let's select one. Here's one for eleven. Final pat will be subtracted from for not completing a contract on time. Okay, so then you know we could keep doing contracts, but let's look into the development part because this is where things really get interesting. Okay, so first off, uh, welcome to Design Document, the heart of Software Inc. Start by picking the software type. So this is where it gets really cool because you have all these different types. You can do operating systems, 2D editors later on. You can do like 3D editors, audio tools, game engines, games, office software, CMS. Uh, you can do antiviruses later on. Um, all this cool type of stuff. Uh, so we'll continue. And if applicable, you can... Pick a software category. Each category for a software type has different development times, popularity, audience retention features, and its own target audience. Then pick name. You can either write your own. You can also pick a price. If you leave the price field alone, the best price will be picked based on the software and features you've chosen. Um, I prefer to usually pick my own. Uh, you can now pick features. Okay, so if we do here, uh, operating system might be a bit much. I mean, that's like, and you can see here, like this would take more than a year and, you know, it requires, it's like, suggesting this amount of people uh, you know this one is far less in terms of that a 2d editor audio software seems about comparable pretty much to that a game engine surprisingly is less than an audio tool something something seems uh off here a game engine is only seven dollars really a game uh, I mean, we could start with a game. Office software usually isn't too bad of an idea. 
uh, CMS content management. Um, I kind of like starting with audio actually. So let's linear. here. So audio playback, these are the features you can choose. Um, so each feature takes time to develop and balances innovation, stability, and usability. So pick carefully. The features you pick depend on which software dependencies and operating systems you chose and vice versa. When you select a feature, all dependencies and operating systems you pick will be filtered accordingly. Um, some features are artistic in nature, only artists. Um, you can use these buttons to quickly reset. Your product can depend on other software types. As an example, you'll need a visual tool like an image editor to make a game with 2D graphics and such. So yeah, there's like dependencies and stuff you'll need to pay attention to. Um, and then some software runs on operating systems. Some software can only run on operating systems that the software is built on, uh, can run on. Games can only run on operating systems that its game engine can run on. And as before, your features might also depend on other stuff. Um, so you can pick operating systems there. Uh, you can make your software a sequel to a product you made uh, previously or which you have bought from another company. You do this by clicking this button and selecting a product as you did with operating systems and software needs. Um, making a sequel will give a marketing boost and change your fans' expectations depending on the success. Features that were implemented for the predecessor will be highlighted in orange in the feature panel. These features will be developed fast when you develop your product. Um, you can also make your software in-house, which means you won't sell it to other companies. You can use this to develop top quality game engines, only use them for your own games. So this is really cool because we could develop like a game engine or even our own operating system or like 2D editor that we only use in-house, um, which means that like no other companies can use this. Um, if you're, you know, if it depends on server functionality, um, CSM, finally, you can pick a source control server from this list to support the development. After you went through the phase of metal, you're ready to... Okay, so let's go ahead and do an audio tool to start with. Category, default, um, ETA less than a year. So if we add in like music editor, you can see here it just greatly increases the amount of stuff we'll need and it would depend on a 2D editor. Um, so we'll just do audio playback. It's just like a Windows Media Player or something, right? Uh, and, you know, it recommends three people. I think we could get it done. A expected interest 7%, which isn't great. Uh, consumer reach is 72 million. So, I mean, we can actually, maybe we should look at this a bit more. Expected interest 1% is pretty crappy, man. Um, expected interest 25%, um, 101 million reach. A game engine, expected interest 25%, less reach. Uh, game, we could start with a little, little game. Uh, expected interest 1% at text-based game. Um, and such. So adding features obviously increases your interest. Um, so there's, and you can choose a category of game too, which is pretty awesome. I think um, Office on CMS. I mean, operating system is just going to be like way too big, I think. So CMS, uh, you know, there's 11% interest, 72 million. Hmm, this is actually a bit a bit difficult. Which one was it that it was a 2D editor? This one I think is actually probably better because it already has a 25% interest and it reaches a hundred over a hundred million people. Um, so, you know, we could add in like pixel manipulation, which is going to increase the price and interest a ton, uh, but will require, you know, it says even more people uh, could do a stack library, which actually it's interesting. So, Oh no, it adds an artist and takes away a programmer. I mean, my guy wasn't very good at art, was he? <laughs> uh, we could just start with this. Like, honestly, we could just start with an image uh, rendering. Uh, pixel manipulation maybe would be decent. It's still less than a year. That's with four people. So let, let's go ahead and start with this, okay? So we have that team core project management to a uh, project management task, uh, can't do that yet. So operating system. Okay, so these are ones that other people, other companies have out, okay? And this is what we wanna pay attention to because there's a lot of things. First, we want to pay close attention to the active users. Like, we don't wanna be releasing this for something that has five active users, right? Uh, maybe, uh, but no, because it's outdated. You can see here when it was released, you wanna go for like these newer ones, so like, this one, um, 
consumer reach, uh, if we add, just make sure. So like that one, uh, this one has half a million. And then uh, this one also has half a million. And then I don't know how the reach was like 100 million when all these added together is definitely not that much. And then this one, uh, it's older, marketing unavoid unavoidable. So really good marketing, retail price. Uh, we'll go to this one as well. Okay, so you can see it's now taken more people. Uh, we'll start this a little bit low. We'll go like $24.99 for this. Okay, and uh, we're, le we're releasing it for four operating systems. And we're going to go ahead and develop it. You haven't picked a name. Oh, uh, you should want to continue. No. So we'll just call this uh, a 2D editor. We'll just call this X, um, X editor one. So we'll go ahead and develop it. Um, the license costs. I don't see no license costs. Oh, 23 grand. Jesus. Uh, does that go down? If we, oh, it does. Okay. Can we afford any of this? <laughs> <laughs> we might have to just do it for, uh, let's actually, let's just remove that. Let's do it for whichever one has the highest. Uh, this guy currently, these are newer. This has a little more reach, but this one's newer. I'm tempted to just go with that one. And we should be able to, to do okay with that. So we'll just release it for one. It's still a reach of half a million people, which isn't too bad. So we'll go ahead and develop that. And uh, we'll now... Our guy should get here and start doing work. Um, before you finish, make sure you inspect the information. So yeah, that we already kind of went over this. Take special note of consumer reach. Consumer reach is how many people can potentially purchase the product. Develop, uh, having more than the suggested amount of develop employees on the project. Teams will not increase development speed, but might actually reduce it. So yeah, if you have like too many people doing something, it can actually reduce effectiveness. Um, but we're going to go ahead and just let, let our guy work. So he's still doing good. Uh, you know, he's, he's not great at some stuff. <laughs> uh, I love working. Hey, well, man, that's a, that's a pretty darn good sign. Going to sign furniture. I'm um, so, no, not now. Um, so yeah, like art, we're not great. Um, you can see currently... Uh, art, we're decent though at code. Uh, so like system, 2D, network, audio, algorithm, all that stuff, um, we're decent on. It's going slow, he's uh, he's a bit slow. We are losing money. Uh, you can see here, like, uh, construction was two grand that, okay, um, three months ago this month, we lost money due to something. Uh, licenses so that was yeah we lost money due to licenses and such uh, he's he's slow going <laughs> now I think there is a way actually to contact uh, contract out some of our stuff um, project details change software name filter base uh, select project management port so you can like port things to other operating systems and such too it's pretty cool uh, I'm could have sworn there was a way to contract out stuff. Research. Um, so there's currently nothing to research. So our quality is still pretty bad, uh, but the thing, the good thing is we don't have a deadline. The only, the only negative of this taking more time is that we're just like spending some more money and such, but we don't have an, a deadline to do this, which is really nice. Now, the one disadvantage is if we wait too long to do this, other companies will have come out with better stuff or the operating system we're doing it on will be outdated. You know, it's our, it's 1980 and those operating systems came out in 78. So if we're not done till like 83 or something, um, then, you know, it, it's kind of out of date at that point. And speaking of which, if we actually look at um, all companies, so like to give you an idea of stuff, um, if we look at uh, worth. So we're worth two grand. <laughs> if you look at this, check this out, guys. Like some of these guys are worth, you know, almost half a billion dollars just from developing software and such. So 
like sick interactive studios if uh if you click like details you can see here that um so own shares uh you know you can buy shares of stuff um mostly i was looking for software i know there's some way you can actually see the software companies have developed uh and okay so they only have four products though so from four products they've essentially made you know 300 or they're worth 385 million dollars uh so there's that there's also all software uh, so like retail price and profit. So if we sort by profit, uh, you know, this one lion, uh, so that's by sick interactive studios right there, this operating system. Um, they made $200 million from that because they sold 2 million units <laughs> and, uh, and you know, it's expensive. It's 154 bucks. Uh, and then what really, what we really want to look at though is, um, upcoming releases. Okay, so if we expand this out, um, we can sort by type, we can sort by date. So if we search by type, uh, 2D editors. So this one, this guy plans to come out with a 2D editor uh, January of 81. And it's currently April, May, June. So he may beat us to it, which is not good uh, because, you know, he beats, it, beats us to it. There's going to be competition. But after that, you can see there's not really any competition for the next three years after that or two years there's no no 2d editors coming out there's a lot of C cms's games game engines operating systems so office software um audio tools you know wouldn't be bad either um but if we let's see send employee home oh so that's not that um but yeah so these guys they're gonna come out in january of 81 which May, June, July, August, September. So I doubt we'll finish it. Uh, now we couldn't, we can just move on from here. Like our quality is good. It's not very good. Uh, if we want to kind of jump the gun and get it out, uh, we could, you know, we could develop it, not not develop it further and, or continue development without finishing this stage. Um, it says we're heading for bankruptcy, but really we're only losing like 200 bucks a month. So we still have several months worth of, you know, time essentially um i think we should be fine this video is definitely going a bit long so i'm gonna i think call it here and leave a bit of a cliffhanger next um next time we will continue this development and uh, see what we can do expand out hire some employees it's gonna be awesome guys so i'm really looking forward to this i hope you guys enjoyed it definitely check it out on steam if you're interested in this type of thing and uh, there will be a link in the description. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, all of that, leave it down below. I always love hearing your thoughts. And uh, like if you want, um, if you have ideas for like software or whatever for us to do, definitely leave that down below as well. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to pause and call it here. Thanks again for watching. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you all and do take care.